Good morning. My name is Arvind Pandey. My registration number is two zero two one PGCSE zero four zero. I am a student of uh, uh, MCA uh, second semester from NIT Jamshed. Aman, your turn. Uh, good morning. My name is Aman Akhredi. Uh, my registration number is twenty twenty one PGCSE zero sixty nine. And I'm currently pursuing MCA from NIT Jamshedpur. Myself, Shadab Hussain. My registration registration number is 2021 PGCSEA 010. I am currently pursuing MCA from NIT Jamshedpur. Arpit. Yeah. Next slide, please. introduction uh, every bookshop uh, has a problem of managing the information manually so to overcome this problem we have developed the application software named bookshop to to help um, shopkeepers to maintain their manual records digitally that are you done the objective of developing this software is that administration will able to maintain the record of book digitally with the implementation of computerized system the task of keeping record in an organized manner and retrieval of the information will be solved now one is your turn in this in this software there are five major functionality uh, that is add book show book check availability update book and sell book so we have created uh, two files here Uh, one is header file and another is dot cpp file in header file we have included uh, we have built our class class bookshop and uh, we have add, add our other personality of the bookshop which is in main function uh, we have used the header files here uh, bits std dot h and f string for file handling conic uh, dot h conio dot h uh, for uh, Get clear and uh, get get CSN and clear screen function. And uh, here C assert is for error handling is a part of error handling. And we have especially here uh, added bookshop uh, class dot h, which is a header file of our classes. So in main function we have system color zero or zero a, which is a combination of uh, green and black color, and we should run uh, throughout the program. We should show throughout the program. And B is a yeah B is a object. And we get a choice from the, uh, uh, input. We get choice as input, and we have created a while loop in which we call control panel, and control panel is here uh, to show the menu driven function. Now uh, moving further, next slide please. Okay, so we get the choice, and if uh, we have created switch case here, and if the uh, choice is one, then we add book. If uh, choice is two, we show uh, show available books. Next slide, please. Next slide. And uh, or for three, if uh, choice is three, we check the availability of the books. With uh, a choice of four, we update the books, and with choice of five, we sell the books. And uh, with choice of six, we exit the program. And here, default case will be the invalid choice. And we clear, and uh, this is the end of the bookshop dot cpp file. Now moving further, next slide. Yeah, here uh, we have our uh, header file bookshop class, uh, in which uh, we have created a void design, uh, which is a function for uh, creating horizontal lines of any symbol. Okay, next slide. And uh, sorry, yeah. uh we have created a bo class bookshop in which uh, we enter uh, we take uh, uh, we take book id and number of copies of the book uh, as integer book name and author's uh, name of the book as a string and the price of the book as float variable and we here declare public uh, the control panel which will be uh, for showing the menu driven program and add books to add books show books the to show and display the books we have check availability uh, is the books are available or not update books 
if you have added and sell books, then we need to update books. Have uh, update to update books. We use function update book. And the sell book is uh, if you have deleted. Sorry, we have, if you have sold some books, then for that uh, here is the sell book. Next slide. Yeah, here we have created uh, control panel, and uh, here we now we are going to explain our code in detail. Now, add function. We are taking five information about one kind of book, like book ID, book name, author name, number of copies, and price. So in our file, we maintain these these five record in our these five record of any book. We open our file into two modes, out and append. Out mode is, is used for writing data in our file and append mode is used for adding data in our file without replacing any data. Now in show function, we are showing all the data, all the data which is present in our in in our file of in our file. Now a minute slower. In the check availability function, we will check whether the book is present in the bookshop or not. For that, we will take the input bit. ID that is uh, the uh, we will ask user to enter book ID to search and uh, we then we will create an object of if stream fin so in the in the read mode we will fetch the data from the uh, book data dot txt so uh, next slide Since we know that it is must to use a priming input statement before starting a loop in case when we use the uh, while loop and uh, put the, uh, here we can say that does not equal to, does not f in dot end of file function. So in this, we will fetch the data from the book uh, data dot txt and check whether the book ID that is asked by the user is present in the book ID in the database, then we will uh, print the all information of that book ID. And further we will uh, repeat this loop. So at the end, if the flag is zero, then we'll say that the book is not available in the SOP. Uh, next slide. And in this book SOP, uh, sell book function, we will have to sell the book to the customer. So for that, we will maintain a dummy book data one.txt file. And uh, we have already a data, uh, data file that is book data.txt. And we will create a new object of OF stream F out uh, in the append mode. Uh, that will be new file. So we will put all the data uh, from the existing uh, file into the new file. Next slide. So here uh, we will repeat the loop till the uh, we, uh, till we reach the end of the file. So we will firstly fetch the data and uh, check whether the book ID is equal to the uh, BID. Then we will check the number of copies asked by the customer and the number of copy in the uh, present in the book shop. So if the number of copy asked by the customer is less than the number of copy in the book shop, they will perform. We will put all the data uh, into the newly created file. So we will put book ID, book name, author name, and number of copy minus number of copy asked by the customer and price of per book. Next slide. And uh, after that, we will show that the book are purchased successfully. So if in case the number of copy asked by the customer are greater than number of copy present in the shop, then we will show, show uh, that the book are uh, in book number of copy are available in the shop. And uh, 
we will put all the data from the existing file into the newly created file as it is and in case the number of copy asked by the customer is equal to the number of copy asked uh, present in the book shop they will we will not going to put the data into the newly created file next slide and uh, uh, at the end we will uh, this this uh, loop will be repeated till we reach the end of the file and uh, next slide and at the end we have two files one is book data dot txt and another is book data one dot txt so all the updated record is present in the book data one dot txt then we have to uh, remove the book data dot txt and we will remove the book data dot txt and they replace the name of book data one dot txt by the book data dot txt next slide uh, in the update book function, we will ask user five information uh, uh, that are to be updated in the existing file. In, in, in this, we will ask book, uh, book ID, book name, author name, and price and number of copies. Next slide. Here, here we have created one new file that is o stream f out book data one dot txt and i of stream uh, uh, fin book data dot txt so we have created a new file and we will put uh, the data into the new file so we have used the ios scope regulation append mode so we will uh, um, we will move into the existing file that is uh, already presented book data dot txt till the end and check whether the book id is present uh, uh, in the book data dot txt is equal to bid next slide uh, if the uh, uh, condition true then we will put the uh, information uh, bid B name, A name, number of copies, and price uh, into the newly created file and uh, make the flag one. Otherwise, we will put the uh, same information as it is in the newly created file. And uh, uh, next, this loop will be repeated till we reach the end. Next slide. And at the end, we will say if a book is not available, say, and in case if we have updated the record, then we will say the books are updated. And in the end, we have two files, book data dot txt and book data one dot txt. So we will have to remove the book data dot txt and updated file that is book data one dot txt. Uh, we will rename this file by book data dot txt. Next slide. Thank you so much. I will then my program <clears throat> so if i enter one to add the book so first he asked for book id so i enter book id one two three. And book name let's say two dog and the author name is let's say phil night and, and the number of copies let's say i enter 10 and enterprise let's say price is 550 uh, if i want to enter more book then i will print i will enter here y otherwise n so i am going to enter n now i i have to check whether the whether this record is present in my database or not. So simply I will press 2. So this record is entered in our database. Now I am going to execute the other function. Let's say I will check availability. So I will enter 3. Let's say book ID 123. So book is present. Then we will show the data of the book. Now the fourth fourth one is update book 
so i want to update my book so i will enter 4 enter book id 1 2 3 now he asked for so are for book name now i am changing my book name let's say c++ author name fill same fill copies 5 prices 150 now i am checking whether the record is changes or not so simply i will press 2 so book name is c plus plus and the number of copies 5 or price is 150 so if i want to sell my book then i simply press 5 then it asks for book id so book id is 1 2 3 now it asks for number of copies now i am what i want to i want to sell two copies of c plus plus book then i enter 2 now i am going to check whether the book is sell or not then i will simply press 2 to show data the number of copies so our program is properly working for any bookshop now we are going to end our presentation thank you thank you